In this video, I'll show you how you can fix Fortnite from crashing on PC. So the first thing you could try is to go to Epic Games and then go to the three dots here. You then go to Manage and go to Launch Options. Click on that and then type minus DX12. This is for people who have Direct x12 but some people don't have this so in what you can do instead is to type direct x11 instead and then try and launch the game now if that doesn't work what you can go ahead and do is verify files instead you can click on that and this will make epic games look for any missing or corrupt files that prevents you from opening the game correctly that will make fortnite continue to crash now if that doesn't work what you can go ahead and do is click on the three dots again go to manage and then go to installation and click on this button right here and you're going to go to fortnite Fortnite game, binaries, Windows 64, and we're gonna scroll until we see Fortnite Launcher.x. We're gonna right click on it, show more, properties, compatibility, and we're going to disable full screen optimizations because sometimes the resolution that you're having will actually make a game turn to black screen or actually make it crash sometimes. So by disabling full screen optimizations, this might help you fix the issue. Now, if that doesn't work, you can disable it again and you can go ahead and run this program in compatibility mode for Windows 8. Keep in mind, this will make the game a lot slower. What you can then also do is run this program as an administrator so that can sometimes help you bypass some of the issues that you're having. And you can then click on apply and okay. Now the final advice I can give you is to go to your home screen and type Windows Update Settings and check for any potential updates that you can install to make sure that your drivers are up to date. And not just Windows, but the same counts for your drivers like Nvidia, for example, I use Nvidia. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on Nvidia app. And then I'm going to go to the drivers section and here you can see that there is indeed an update available that I can install. And here you can see what it will actually fix. And you can see that it actually fixes a lot of things including crashes for example, flickering, etc. 